helps the voiceless creature. Hello everyone, welcome to my channel The Wet Tutorial. In this video, we are going to study about erythrocytes and it is according to veterinary perspective. The topics which we are going to study in this video are what is erythrocytes and its function, second, shape of erythrocytes in different animal, third, composition of erythrocytes, Fourth, size of erythrocytes in different species of animal. Fifth, numbers of erythrocytes along with hemoglobin content in different species. And last, we are going to study about lifespan of erythrocytes. So let's start with what is erythrocytes and its function. Erythrocyte is a type of blood cell that is made in bone marrow. Erythrocyte is also called as red blood cell. Red color of the erythrocytes is due to the presence of coloring pigment called hemoglobin. RBC are larger in number compared to other two blood cells that is white blood cells and platelets. Erythrocytes in mammal are non-nucleated and non-motile cells. Then let's see about the functions of erythrocytes. First, it transports the oxygen from the lungs to the tissue. Hemoglobin in RBC combines with oxygen to form oxyhemoglobin. About 97% of oxygen is transported in blood in the form of oxyhemoglobin. Second is transportation of carbon dioxide from the tissue to the lungs. Hemoglobin combines with carbon dioxide and form carb hemoglobin. About 30% of carbon dioxide is transported in this form. And the another procedure by which carbon dioxide is transported through RBC is, as RBC contains large amount of carbonic anhydrase, this enzyme is necessary for the formation of bicarbonate from water and carbon dioxide. Thus, it helps to transport carbon dioxide in the form of bicarbonate from tissue to the lungs. About 63% of carbon dioxide is transported in this form. Then third is buffering action in the blood. Hemoglobin function as a good buffer. By this action it regulates the hydrogen ion concentration and thereby plays a role in maintenance of acid-base balance. And lastly fourth is in blood group determination. RBCs carry the blood group antigens like antigen A, antigen B and Rh factor. This helps in determination of blood group and enable to prevent reaction due to incompatibility blood transfusion. But remember that the major function of RBCs is to transport the respiratory gases. Let's study about the shape of erythrocytes in different animals. Normally, the RBC are disc shape and biconcave that is dumbbell shape, in which the central portion is thinner and periphery is thicker. Then let's see what is the advantage of biconcave shape of RBCs. First, biconcave shape helps in equal and rapid diffusion of oxygen and other substances into the interior of the cells. Second, large surface area is provided for the absorption or removal of different substances. Third, minimal tension is offered on the membrane when the volume of the cell alters. And fourth, because of biconcave shape, while passing to the minute capillaries, RBC squeeze to the capillaries very easily without getting damaged. Though the erythrocytes is biconcave, but its concavity also varies as per the species. So, let's see the shape of the erythrocytes in different species. In dogs, it is typically biconcave. In cats and horse, it is slightly biconcave. In case of goats, it is a little bit biconcave or somewhat spherical in shape. In camels and lambas, it is elliptical in shape and in cold-blooded animals, it is elliptical and nucleated. Then let's study about the composition of erythrocytes. Erythrocytes in adult animal contain 62-72% to of water and remaining 35% consist of solids. 
Among 35% of solids, hemoglobin constitute about 95% of solids. The remaining solids are proteins, lipids, cholesterol, natural fats, vitamins, carbohydrates, enzymes, minerals, etc. Remember that potassium is the principal cation of erythrocytes in some species like pig, chicken and some breeds of sheep also. Whereas in other animals like cat, dog, cow, goat and sheep, the principal cation is sodium. And chlorine is the principal anion in all species. It is well documented that domestic animals exhibit genetic differences in potassium content of erythrocytes. Then let's study about the size of erythrocytes in different species of animals. Erythrocytes varies in diameter and thickness according to species and nutritional status of the animals. So let's see the diameter of RBCs in different species. First, in cattle, it is 5.9 micrometer. In goats, it is 4 micrometer. In sheep, it is 4.8 micrometer. In pig, it is 6 micrometer. In horse, it is 5.5 micrometer. In dog, it is 7 micrometer. In cat, it is 6 micrometer. And in humans, it is 7.5 micrometer. Then let's study about the numbers of erythrocytes along with hemoglobin content in different species of animals. The number of RBCs varies greatly among the species and also within the individual of same species. And the factors which affects the hemoglobin concentration are age, sex, nutritional status, lactation, pregnancy, excitement, blood volume, stage of estrus cycle, breeds, environmental temperature, altitude and other clinical factors. Then let's see the RBC's number which is in 10 per 6 per micron liter and hemoglobin which is in gram per deciliter of different species. First, canine. RBC number is 5.5 to 8.5 and hemoglobin is 12 to 18. Then, feline. RBC number is 5 to 10 and hemoglobin is 10 to 15. Then, ovine. RBC's number is 5 to 10 and hemoglobin is 8 to 11. Then equine. RBC number is 7 to 11 and hemoglobin content is 11.5 to 16. Then porcine. RBC number is 5 to 8 and hemoglobin is 10 to 16. Then ovine. RBC number is 9 to 15 and hemoglobin content is also 9 to 15. Then caprine. RBC number is 8 to 18 and hemoglobin content is 10 to 16. Then let's study about the lifespan of erythrocytes. Lifespan of erythrocytes also varies with the species. In dog, lifespan is 100 to 130 days. In cats, lifespan is 70 to 80 days. In horse, it is 140 to 150 days. In ruminants, in case of sheep, dogs and cattle, it is 125 to 150 days. In lambs and cows, it is 50 to 100 days. In chickens, it is 20 to 30 days. In ducks, it is 30 to 40 days. And in humans, 110 to 130 days. Average is 120 days. Here we ends the erythrocytes. Stay safe and let's meet in the next video.